tracking a couple systems, one that brought us snow yesterday and another one that uh, could bring us some <laughs> snow in the coming week. Is that right, Annie? That's right, Julie. We have another setup where we're seeing uh, two additional systems in the upcoming week that will be impacting us. So this weekend we'll stay quiet, but already starting to see some winter storm watches going off from Kansas extending over the panhandle of Oklahoma as well as Texas. What we're getting this morning is a little bit of cloud coverage still lingering over the area and that cloud coverage will be pretty stubborn for today. So not a lot of sun is in store. We will stay dry as we look towards our Saturday into Sunday. 34th this hour, northwesterly winds 10 miles per hour. That's going to keep an added chill around for today. 85% for that humidity dew point right now at a 30. As we look at those current temperatures still holding steady about 34 really have not budged much within the last hour with those temperatures feels like temperatures still in those 20s in some locations 29 is what it's feeling like down to okima 27 over to Tahlequah, 26 to miami 31 here for tulsa so keep the coat with you for today on top of that cloud coverage we could see a little bit of drizzle mixing in for today mainly during the afternoon and the early evening hours Nothing that's going to accumulate, but something worth mentioning if you're going to get out and about. I want to point at something else out. Temperatures this afternoon likely to climb into those 40s, but we're not going to climb above a feels like of those upper 30s for this afternoon. So very similar to yesterday, we had a high of 40 degrees, but because of that cloud coverage and those winds, it was feeling colder than that. So plan accordingly for today. Again, those feels like temperatures staying generally in those upper 30s by the afternoon. Overnight, we do get a clearing. So hey, sun does return for the first half of tomorrow. 26 for your overnight low, so it'll be a chilly start, but I can promise with south winds returning and a little bit of sun early on, temperatures rebounding nicely into those 40s by the afternoon. Could even see some 50s in the potential mix for tomorrow, believe it or not. But once those temperatures go up, you know it's winter time when they come crashing down the next day, and that's gonna be the case. We are tracking a precipitation arriving Monday, Tuesday again. We'll get a break Wednesday into Thursday with additional chances by Friday. We've got a little bit of everything. Rain is looking to be for Monday. We'll see widespread rain chances. I'll show you that in just a second. Some snow mixing in early Tuesday morning, and then we'll get a break. Temperatures will be warming up again, so anything that does fall likely to go away before another wintry mix arrives, followed by a big drop in temperature. So anything that would fall Friday will likely to stay. Here's what we're looking at on future track. We will stay dry for your Sunday south winds returning. Here come those rain showers. I'm not going to realize the potential for an isolated thunderstorm south of I-40, believe it or not. Again, a little bit of everything is in this forecast. We'll get those showers out of here, but then on the back side, as we see that wraparound moisture late Monday into early Tuesday, we could see some snowfall. Latest model runs have this low pushing a little bit further up north, so likely to see just a little bit of precipitation with that snowfall. Rainfall in the, on the meantime for Monday looking really nice. We're seeing about a half an inch uh, to some locally higher amounts. Also with thunderstorms, we could see um, some higher opportunities, especially south of I-40. Temperatures staying in those 30s by Tuesday, high of 38 with a low of 25. Again, we'll be warming up again Wednesday, but don't enjoy it for too long. Things come crashing down again by Friday, and it looks like that cold air mass is likely to stay in the extended period. Julie, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Ooh, those big coats are going to be getting a workout this week. Annie, thank you. Well